Hello everyone! So Super.so is a special kind of no-code website builder. This enables you to build websites on top of Notion. So if you are the no Notion, you can have a fully working website in less than a single day. Your websites can look as simple as this or as complex and beautiful as this. You can build portfolios, blogs, landing pages and so much more. For beginners, this is ideal. You don't need to know how to code and you can build your website on top of Notion. If you already know Notion, this makes it a total breeze. And then you can also use a pre-made template, as you can see right here, things like this, to get started very quickly. And this is my recommended method for beginners. Alright, so in this video we'll build two things. First, I'll show you how to create a very very simple website from an existing Notion page that you may already have in your Notion account. And then, the second thing I'll show you is how you can take one of these pre-made templates, we'll use a free template for this tutorial, to whip up a website very very quickly with very little work to be done. So without further ado, let's get started. So in front of me right now, I have a very, very simple Notion page. This Notion page only has a title. Here I'm saying this is John Smith Designs, assuming John Smith is a designer. And the second thing is it has this piece of text right here saying, hey there, I'm John Smith. It doesn't get simpler than this, just a title and some text. Now I want to turn this into a website with Super. So this is the first part of this video. I'm showing you how you can turn an existing Notion page into a website. Alright, so we head over to app.super.so, obviously you have to create an account, now after creating an account you should land here, this is how this will look like. So I'm just going to press on create site, and now I'm going to give my site a name, this is going to be John Smith website, so you can name this anything that you want, and I'm just going to press on create site. You can see that this part was highlighted right here. Like I said before, we're building this based on an existing Notion page. So we need to actually give Super a URL of a Notion page. Now what you need to do is not come here and paste this URL that you have here in your browser. No, you need to come to your Notion page, press on share, and then here you have to toggle this button which says share to web. So by sharing to web, you're going to get a link like this. So now we actually have our link. We can go ahead and paste this here. So now let's just press on create site. And as you can see, a super dot site has been created. Now you can check how the super dot site would look like by pressing on these two arrow things right here. So this shows us, this is like a full screen button. So pressing on this, this is how your website will look like if someone were to test it out. You can also see how it would look like on mobile. So this button right here helps us see how it looks like on our mobile phone. So on a mobile screen, this is how this website will look like. We have created the very very basic website. What are some of the capabilities that Super gives us? So we can come here to design and this will enable us to play around with the design of the site. So we can first start by changing the colors. We have a color mode. So this could be either light or dark. So we can choose to keep dark for now. You can choose a color palette. So here we press on choose a palette. And this will give you some options. So neutral is going to give you this grayish option for dark mode. And then lavender will give you this more purple look. And if you change it back to light mode, you can see this is how it would look like. So you can choose any color palette from these. You also have seaweed. This is kind of greenish. And if you change it to dark mode, this is what it will look like. I'm going to go with beans. This is a bluish type of color. All right. So you can also scroll down here and make even more customizations. So in dark, you can see main, you come here, this is the page background, this is the text, this is the border color. So you can even change the background from here. So I can give it a totally different background, you don't have to stick to the theme. You can press on reset to bring everything back to the original color palette, or to the default value. Now you may tell me, I'm not a pro designer. I don't know how to match colors together and how to make it all look good. That's totally fine. This is the beauty of a tool like Super. We can use any of the ready-made templates and themes to set up a very nice looking website. Stick around in this video and I'll show you how. But for now, so we have this very simple website right here. We already saw how it would look like on mobile or on desktop. There are other options. You can press on options right here. So first we have to save our changes. Just press on save. And now here you have different options. One thing I like to do, you see here the theme toggle. This will enable you to have a toggle button on your screen to toggle between both light and dark mode. So just press on enable 
And now this will give you this button right here. So pressing on it, this will help us toggle between these two different themes, both light and dark mode. Now, going back to the design section, so let's press on design. You can change other things as well. So we changed the colors before. Let's also try to modify the typography. So you can change the fonts, pressing here on primary font. This is the font for the big one. You can change it to anything you like. So this is a font you can have. You can change it to this. So it's all up to you. You can change it to whatever font that you like. So let's just keep this one. Another thing you may ask me is, okay, what if I change the content of my Notion page after I created this website? You totally can. So going back to Notion, this is our page. This is our original page. So I'm just going to close this. You can see here we have this text. What if I wanted to add an image for John Smith? So I can just say image. And then go to unsplash and just add an image of a person and so this is going to give me a bunch of images so let's just select this one and okay so we've added an image to notion if we go back here you can see there's a refresh button right here so pressing on it you can see the image was loaded so as you can see by refreshing our new site actually included the new information in our notion page okay so this is pretty basic to actually create a very nice looking website, this is going to take a while. And to organize all the information, lay it out in a way that's engaging, that matches the common landing pages or portfolios that you usually see, this is going to take a certain amount of knowledge. So you're going to need to know how to craft an engaging website. You're also going to need to understand different design principles, color theory, things like that. And it's going to take some time because you need to do some manual work. This is why we're now going to try to create a totally different website based on a template from Super. You can navigate to super.so slash templates to find all the available templates that you can use. So we are going to try to build a personal website. So here you have different options. You can build a personal site, portfolio, landing page. You can even do things like a resume or something for a career. But we're going to go with the personal site. So there are a bunch of options. There are both free and paid options, but we will go with one of the free options. So two of these that I really like is the first one. This one is called Split. It has, it's a one-paged website and it's made by One Page Love. So this one-page website, it has the image of the person on the left and their information on the right. So let's try to build our own website based on this template. If I press here on this duplicate, it gives me the instructions to duplicate this website. First thing, you have to duplicate the template in Notion. So this is not related to Super. You have to actually duplicate the website in Notion. So I press on this link. I wait for it to open up. Now you see this is the Notion page that that website was built on. As you can see, it's a very standard Notion page. And then the theme or the template that the person created is what enabled us to get that look on the template. So let's first duplicate this. So you press here on duplicate in the top right corner. Now, as you can see, it has been duplicated. It exists in my Notion account. And this is how the page looks like. All right, so we did the first step. We duplicated the page into Notion. Let's go back here to the theme. The second step, it says create a super site using your new page as the Notion URL. So we are back in super. I'm just going to press on create site again. And this one is going to be split template website. And now I need to give it the URL. So going back to my Notion, I press on share, share to web, and I copy the link. So it's the very same process that I did before. Now, as you can see, I can press create site and now the site has been created. But you may ask me, okay, this does not look like the theme that we already saw. Well, there's one more step we need to do. Going back here to the instructions, we have to go to settings, code, HTML head and paste this piece right here. So this should add it to the site. Now we go back to split here. So we go into code right here and you have here the head. This is for HTML and we just paste the piece of code that we had before. All right, so we have pasted it. Now we can expand this and see that this is how the website will look like. So now we have inside super the exact same website that we saw in the template. All right, so we have the website. Next thing we want to do is to just change the content. This part is super easy. This is the easy part. We go back to Notion. So here you have split. This is the title of the website. So I'm just going to call this John Smith's personal site. All right, here instead of Tyson G, this is going to be John Smith. All right, 
now this is the title so let's just say designer creator i'm just going to change it to designer and developer let's do a quick refresh and as you can see now we have john smith designer developer and the title of the site now was changed to john smith's personal site we can even change the image so here we can change cover and we go to unsplash and here we can search for person let's select this one all right so we have the image let's also change a few things here you can change the links that you have here we can add additional content so we can add another piece of text so let's clear this one let's say uh you can contact me here and then this should be a hyperlink as well and then you can just add any content that you can refresh this so we can get the new image. So now we have the new image and we have successfully built a new website based on the template that we found. So this one was pretty simple. We just changed some text, changed the image. And as you can see, it was super quick. We had this done in just a few minutes. Now, if you want further customization, you can then change the colors, change things like that. And this will take you literally under an hour and you can have your personal website up and running. Now, the next thing is, let's try to build a slightly more complex website. So this one is pretty simple. It's a one-paged website. Here you have another example. This one is called Slight. It's very stylish, very customized. You have different options. The person has projects, templates, a blog, things like that. So this is where the content will come in. We can also duplicate this, follow the exact same instructions. So you need to duplicate this in Notion. So this will open up a Notion page press on duplicate press on create site this one is going to be uh, john smith slide and then we have to give it the new url so press share share to web copy link same thing and put the url here create the site wait for it to load and now we have the site as you can see very basic we don't have the theme yet to get the theme we go back to the instructions and we have to paste this into the html head so the same process we go to code now we have head here and we paste this and we just save the changes and as you can see this is the website if we expand it this is how it looks like so going back into notion we can edit the content so this one here let's say uh john smith so i'm just going to do this super fast so as you can see i've edited the text i've just changed the title to john smith changed the text here introducing himself and added this line here now this is pretty simple we've done this multiple times by now inside this video here you have this say hello now this hyperlink takes you to mail to hello at super dot so this is an email you can edit this to actually take you to your own email so then john smith would write his own email right here now what i really want to show you from this part of the video is the different content that we have so the first website we built and the second one as well they did not have any content from databases so this is where you would come to edit this content so let's go back here we can also do a refresh to get the newest information so as you can see we have the new information here now we want to change the content or we want to add new content so this is great if you want to add your portfolio to this personal website so we go back into notion and then what we do, we can add a new one into this gallery view. So we can press on this and let's say this one uh, design project for X brand, whatever brand this is. We're also going to need a cover. So let's add a cover here. And OK, this doesn't really match design. So we go into Unsplash. We say design. Let's go with this one. OK, let's go back and refresh. As you can see right here, we now have a new project under this projects part right here. So you can add as many projects as you want. If you have 10, 20, 30, you can add as many as you want and they will appear in the site using this template. This is because this gallery view right here is actually a database. You can change the view by going to layout rather than gallery you can see this as a table and then this is all the content that you have in your website now you can also change the description by setting this line of text right here so you can set that for this one as well and you can add to the other databases as many pieces of content as you want so this is a great content management system to work with especially if you are not really familiar with other types of cms's online all right, so this brings us to the end of the video. Hopefully, if you've reached this point, you now know how to create a website from Notion using Super. You know how to use different templates and how to manage the content in your websites using these templates and using Notion as well. Please do leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel if you have enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.